I am Marilyn Kitchell. I'm a wildlife biologist at Wallkill River National Wildlife Refuge, and we are based around the Wallkill River. So we run a linear stretch that's kind of long and narrow on either side of the river. We are a river-based system, and we do have a lot of seasonal wetlands and um, marshy areas. Um, this area was known as the flooded lands historically because of the spring flooding that we typically get. And so we do have an extensive set of marshlands and wetlands around the river. But we also have some upland areas. You know, in recent history, there has been a lot of agricultural activity around here. So we have a lot of fields that we maintain as grassland and scrub shrub. Irene came through on Sunday, August 28th. We got about seven and three quarters inches of rain locally. Um, and a fair amount of wind. We looked at a lot of visitor use damage um, and I think that that's probably the majority of what we have here. Luckily we haven't really sustained much infrastructure damage to our buildings and our um, equipment um, but we have seen a fair amount of damage to the trail systems from culvert collapses and bridges being washed out, gravel being washed away um, and that's going to take a fair amount of attention to get our trails up and running again. So we're heading down toward the river. So this is all this silt from up top. Oh yeah. The erosion is due largely to the fact that we are that river-based system, so where we have our trails along the ridges and the water's running down towards the river, um, we had a lot of water cutting across those trails, and that's where we saw the most erosion. For the time being, all of our trails are closed, and I don't have any estimate as to when we'll be able to open those up again, but certainly um, the most highly visited trails include the Liberty Loop area, which we visited today. Um, that's our, our biggest birding spot where we get the most attention from our visitors. And um, right now, the trail is still underwater in places. This boardwalk that I'm standing on goes all the way out. It follows the tree line, kind of juts in a little bit. And where the trees are along here is the riverbank. And the boardwalk goes almost the entire way to the riverbank. This is this pond right below us it was the only pond that was open, you know, during the fishing season to catch and release. The dam at the pond was completely blown out by the storm with the amount of water that was rushing off the hill and down toward the river below. When that happened, it took all of the water out of the pond. We do have other access areas where people can fish off bridges and such like that. The impoundments right now look like a fantastic big expanse of open water. Um, but this time of year is when the shorebirds are moving south on their shorebird migration. We typically have those impoundments drawn down to the point where they're pretty much dry with exposed mud flat. And so we're looking at several feet of um, water and until the river itself comes down there's nowhere to draw the water to. And by then many more of them will have already passed through and won't have been able to take advantage of that habitat that we normally would provide this time of year. And, you know, it is a beautiful area and we are hopeful that we can get things up and running soon so that our visitors can get back to enjoying it.